So if you go to your URL um, and then forward slash admin, this takes you to your login page. And here is where I will try and log in and try and remember my password. And once you're logged in, it takes you to the NewScoop dashboard. So this is the starting point for your kind of journalists day when they log in. First thing that they do is come here. And for those of you that don't know NewScoop at all, I'll just give a quick introduction. It is a CMS, a content management system that allows uh, journalists and editors of newspapers to publish content to the web. Um, the idea is that it's really tailor-made for journalists and online newspapers. So we've streamlined the kind of workflows um, to fit with a kind of news model and a newsroom model. Um, and so the dashboard allows uh, journalists to log in and sort of see what's happening in their newspaper at the minute, but also um, has a few other kind of widgets that people can use. Uh, there's a map search function here. This shows all the images that are stored in their media archive. Um, and we also have a Wikipedia search um, box here. And moving uh, the dashboard around is actually very easy, and this is customized for every single person who is, um, who is uh, using the site. So one of the first new features that we've really worked on very hard is the media archive. Um, and in fact, you know what I'll do is I'll take you to um, an article because that makes most sense. So you would create a new article by going up to actions here and adding new article. But what I'll do is I will take you to one that we made earlier, which was an article written for the site by Johnny West of Open Oil. Um, so this is your article edit screen. So a very brief kind of anatomy of, of an article. Uh, this is your title up here. This is going to be how many comments um, and where you can interact with people commenting. This would take you to the live article. And this, of course, is where you kind of save and close things. And then this is the status of the article. So right now this is published. By moving this to submitted, we would actually take it offline and then published would put it back online again. So the authors are here. This is the person who wrote the article. And you can add another author very easily in here by just going in here's a big list of all our authors so we could add in an extra uh, an extra author and here is a drop down right now we we just have one type of author which is a writer but actually you could have photographers in here and editors and and proofreaders and, and all different kind of roles and you can customize that yourself um down here is this is the what we call the lead which is the some, some people call it a deck as well it's uh, it's sort of one or two sentences that this is a short introduction and this is shown in the preview of the article on the front page and down here is the article body and as it usually says here this is the main part of your article where you would do your kind of writing and this is a very typical kind of WYSIWYG editor where you can you know you can format your text and add hyperlinks and, and a bunch more stuff there of course so that's the kind of pretty standard stuff. Um, where it starts to get interesting is over here on the right hand side where we have a bunch of the functions that are specifically set for journalists.